This is the page that appears when you click Frames in the Series menu after you've inputted the dates and titles. This is where you will continue to provide information to start to make the Frame Synopses page, helping the team to know the direction of the message for each week of the series. These are the actions for this page. On this page, you see each frame with its title and date listed, as well as an Edit and Delete button for each. So Edit is where you will go to enter or edit synopsis information for each service. So the first time you go there, uh, there's nothing there yet, and so you're going to be filling that in. And you can find out more about that in the step-by-step -step video uh, when you do click on that. So let's go back. You can also delete that frame um, by clicking on Delete, especially if you're creating from one of our templates and need to shorten the series. Uh, this is the place to do that, and you can find out more about that in the help video um, related to templates. And then there's the Frame Synopsis page. This icon, which is the little frame, appears next to the name of each service type, as well as being accessible from anywhere in uh, the Design app by clicking on this icon up here in this menu. As you fill in the information for each service, the Design app is building this PDF document which contains the anchor image at the top. Let's just get a little look at what that would look like. The anchor image at the top with the title at the top, the main thematic scripture, the main synopses that you've already entered in, and then the descriptions and the dates, the titles for each service. So you're about to input, uh, when you first go to this page, you're about to input a synopsis for each one of the services. And this is really golden for your worship team. Um, they'll literally be on the same page so that they can move forward with brainstorming and resource gathering in highly effective ways. All right, so the last thing on this page uh, I want to point out is this Gather Resources button. And this is a big, um, a big step. And you can find out more about that when you actually go there to begin this process. And there'll be another step-by-step -step video there. All right, so that's the Frames home page. And this will always be there whenever you click Frames so that you can do any of these functions at any time.